ideally you find a band at a really young stage and you're able to book them in your small club and then you sort of develop them through your system and then they play your 1,000 seat club, then you play you know, your 1,500 seat club and they just sort of go up the ranks. And pretty soon, you know, in an ideal scenario, then you know, that band grows and you're able to grow with them. And you're able to help them grow. For a band to survive right now, like you have to look at the, you have to be able to conquer the country. And so you can only be so many places at so many times. So if you have a really good local promoter that's promoting your show, you're actually promoting your band as well. A typical day for myself at the office, uh, it's a lot of talking. Uh, talking to agents, managers, talking to radio stations, talking to uh, bands themselves about opportunities, how we're going to promote, how we can grow bands in a particular market, how we can do shows bigger and better, how we can make it better for fans. So it's a little bit of everything from you know promoting bands and the marketing side to how we operate our venues. Um, and how we get you know the fans the best concert experience we can. Well, I'm kind of a one-person operation. I do all my marketing. I run my shows. I book. You know, I'm the talent buyer. You know, so I kind of have to deal with every aspect of a show. I'm not a larger promoter where you know one person's booking the show, one person is running the shows, one person's marketing them, one person's doing press. Like I kind of do all of it. We negotiate the rights to do a concert and then we do everything we can to make that concert successful. So marketing, production, uh, you know, every element of it. A typical day, it's, it's more of a week thing, is we start at the beginning of the week and I take the, the staff and I meet and we talk about all the shows that are gonna happen that week, how we're gonna handle them, because each show is different. We discuss how we're gonna handle the parking, how we're gonna handle the crowd, how we're gonna make sure that everything fits. And we do that at the beginning of the week and then each day, Everybody has to make sure that their job is being done, and I make sure if there's any questions or any problems, how can we deal with the best? We deal a lot with their booking agents. Um, a lot of times they'll come to us for avails, and when they're routing a tour, they want to play a specific venue, and so they'll come to us directly for those holds, and we'll kind of fit them in wherever it works best for us and them to plan out their tour. Um, a lot of times they come to us with a, a band or an idea, but they don't necessarily have a venue in mind. So we work with them on the event and what we think it's gonna, is going to be most successful for the event. So there's a lot of influence there. and We get to help out and kind of plan a really great event for somebody. We'll decide, we'll take a look at other shows we have on sale, when we want to go on sale, you know, what radio involvement's gonna be, you know, digitally, where do, where do these bands live so we can focus on, on that area to help promote and then like, put together a marketing plan and ship that off to the, to the band's agent to sign off on. So you're guaranteeing somebody money and saying, you know, we're, we're gonna guarantee you X amount, and then it's incumbent upon us to promote this show and, and make sure people show up to this, to this event. If you're starting out in this business, pursue what you're passionate about, if you like being on the promoter side, you know, go find the best promoter and look for the job. And if it doesn't pay anything, who cares? Like in five or 10 years, if you're passionate about what you're doing, opportunity and hopefully money will, will come. Never think that anything's below you, you know? You really have to take whatever opportunity comes your way because you don't know where that next opportunity is gonna lead you. One of the things that's really, you have to be able to do is deal with people. If you can't deal with people in this business, you're not gonna go anywhere because you see the same people year after year after year. Pay attention, have a good ear, and work your ass off. I mean, that's how I got where I was. I was like, I worked my ass off when I had nothing, and you know, people respond to that. I started off at Coachella driving a golf cart. I was like, that sounds like super fun, and I just wanna be part of something that's so great. I don't care what I'm doing there. And from there, you know, I think as long as you can prove that you're a hard worker and have a really positive attitude about things and are willing to take on challenges in a positive way, then things will come your way, you know? The, the responsibility will always find you as long as you have a good attitude about it and a really strong work ethic. Because it's definitely not short hours in our industry. 